Yes, I guess it's about that time of year, but this is something that I don't want to see. Yeah, right in there. Right in there. <sighs> I don't want to see no snow. No snow. For years, I've had a subscription to Guitar World, and you know, it's okay and everything else. You know, it used to be really good, and then here lately, to me, it's just kind of gotten downhill. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. My subscription would run out, and they would send me letters, give me a great deal. So I took it. I said, why not? But when this one runs out, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna renew it. It's just not like the good old days. I know change comes with everything, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It just doesn't interest me anymore. I don't know. I don't know why they put these people on the cover. Oh well, I'm not the boss. It's not my magazine. It's just my opinion. I'm not one to throw somebody under the bus just for no reason. But when I feel I've been taken for a ride, I would like to bring it to people's attention. How many people remember this guy? Esteban. You remember that guy off HSN who sold all these guitars? I don't know. It was probably, I don't know, three or four years ago. He was on HSN for a while, and then he was gone like the wind. You didn't see him no more. Well, I was one of those suckers that fell for that deal. And here is the case. Uh, you know, my wife got this for me as a surprise, so bless her heart. She, she, uh, you know, she doesn't know much about guitars. She just was trying to do a nice thing. And so this guitar does have a lot of sentimental value. But as far as quality, you got to be kidding me. This thing, I mean, it's really pretty and all, but, you know, they say looks can be deceiving. And, uh, actually that's the same guitar that he's holding right here. Except you can see the strings right here come over the bridge. Or they wrap around or something. You know, this... Oh, yeah, and he's got his name on the fretboard there. Esteban. Yeah, so, of course, this isn't nothing like that at all. And when I watched watched him on HSN uh, years ago, he wasn't playing one of these models. He wasn't playing an Esteban guitar. It was like some other kind of classical guitar, you know, and for people who are not familiar, you can always tell a classical guitar because the neck is wider and it has these kind of string winders on it. It's got that those two spaces in the headstock. Whereas, you know, a regular acoustic doesn't have that. So, I can't remember what she paid for this thing. It came with this and a bunch of the DVDs and, you know, picks and strings. And it came with nylon strings, which I understand, but, you know... I don't play I don't play acoustic uh excuse me. I don't play classical acoustic, put it that way. So I took those off and put regular acoustic strings on it and I thought, you know, okay, this isn't too bad until I went to tune it. I'll go over that here in just a second. <laughs> So yeah, the, for what it is, the guitar is, is okay, you know, for the money. Uh, it actually doesn't sound that bad. It has, you know, it's got the, the back, you know, and all this is Esteban. And it's got the uh, built-in EQ battery pack and all that. Um, but it's, you know, you get what you pay for, man. It's, you know, everything up here is plastic, you know. Uh, uh, and like I said, when I went to tune it, uh, this 
high E string, the tuner key, I went to turn it and it just spun and spun and spun <laughs> and the gear wasn't turning. So I have to take a pair of needle nose pliers and grab the post and actually twist it to make, you know, cause I guess the tuning key itself is stripped. Uh, so but for what it is, it's, it's okay. But I just thought it was really weird that he was on HSN and he wasn't playing one of these guitars, like I said, you know, and he was playing like a really high dollar classical acoustic. And, uh, I was just naive and I didn't look, you know, I said, well, that's not, I don't see that color in the selection that he's playing. Um, and I didn't notice, I didn't look for the, the E up there cause his, you know, didn't, didn't have an E. I think it was like taped over or just, you know, maybe it was a brand. I know it wasn't one of these, but, uh, but as you saw, he has his website and he, I, I don't know if he's still selling them. Uh, I know Keith Urban has given him a run for his money. Keith Urban has been on HSN for what, three years in a row now. And man, he sells out every year, you know? Uh, so yeah, Esteban, <laughs> I actually remember seeing him in a Geico commercial about a year or so ago. <laughs> I was like, wow, talk about reaching, you know? So I think he had his 15 minutes of fame. I think it's safe to say that, wouldn't you? Okay, I uh, had some people kind of curious about this. If you go to my site, this is my website right here, thejoewinsproject.com. And let's see here. You scroll down right there, and you see that link right there. That's where you get the t-shirts if you want a t-shirt, if that's what you're interested in. Go there, click on that link. And it should take you right to where you need to go to get you a shirt. And right here you go. So you got, uh, I think those are uh, buttons. That's a Christmas ornament. Those are bandanas. You got a camouflage t-shirt, which, you know, I've gotten some of my own shirts just for promotional, you know, uh, purposes. And people ask me, do I get shirts for free? No, I do not. I do not get shirts for free. I have to pay for them just like anybody else. Uh, uh, Spreadshirt, which is, is the company that I use, uh, they set the price, not me. I make no money off these shirts as of now. Uh, eventually, I will raise the uh, price a little so I can make a little commission. But uh, once I build this channel up a little more, and if people seem interested, then I'll do that. But not right now. You know, you got to... Uh, Coffee mugs, all kind of cool stuff. Uh, hoodies, which I, I got one of the hoodies uh, last weekend. It's very comfortable. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested in a shirt or hoodie or anything like that, uh, there's where you, that's where you go. You go to my site and um, click that link I showed you. Those are aprons, like cooking aprons. I thought that was really cool. <laughs> I thought that was cool. There's the hoodie that I ordered right there. Whoops. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Let me see here. Let me get, bring it back up. There we go. That one right there. Yeah. Really nice. I like it a lot. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. So there you go. The Joe Wentz Project store. For people that are curious, if you watched my vlog yesterday, you saw that I plugged into this mini Black Star amp. And they call it the Fly. And yes... It is awesome. I love it, man. It is, it is so cool. I love it because it has that, uh, has that built-in delay right there. I love the delay, and it's, uh, you know, battery powered. Whoops, I think it's on this side. Yeah, battery powered. Uh, I think it takes like what, six double A's. I think. I can't be a hundred percent sure, but this little sucker here, for just messing around and having a good time. It is worth the money. I think I paid, uh, I think it was $59, just say 60 bucks. I believe that's what it was. And I actually took this to uh, this guy's house one time just to jam in his living room. I mean, of course, we weren't, you know, having a, you know, uh, full-blown concert or nothing. We were jamming out, but it, it did fine for that. You know, it was great. Of course, it doesn't compare to this. 5150, Eddie Van Halen. PV, the original, still reigns supreme. Yeah, the 5150, I've had that for 
God almighty, years and years. I've even put little marks on it where I want the knobs to go, you know, in case something happens and I don't, I forget. This was my main amp when I played live all the time. And the knobs would get moved during transit. I couldn't ever remember where I had them set. So when I finally got them back the way I remember, I'd put marks there, then I'd put X's and I'd do another mark, you know. <laughs> it just helped me to remember, you know, what was going on. But yeah. If you're ever interested in a in a little small little amp, just something to take on the go with you. Now I know the little uh the mini EVH micro stack. Yeah, that's okay for nostalgia purposes, but that amp just I'm sorry, but it sounds like crap. This amp here, it's it really sounds good, man. Built in EQ, gain, you know, delay. That's what sold me on it was the delay. You know, I was like, that is so cool. A little amp like that has a built in delay. I love delay, man. Makes all the difference in the world to me. I can't stand playing dry. Just my opinion, just my two cents. That's all it is. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today for this vlog. This is the end of the vlog. This has been vlog 22. <laughs> 22, man. It's very awesome. And thank you for join, uh, joining me. Like I said, I'm repeating myself. Sound like an idiot. I apologize. Uh, and uh, I have a lot of fun with these vlogs. If this is your first time watching, uh, if you would like to, I'd would love it if you would subscribe thank you very much i love doing daily vlogs i share a piece of my life with you every day uh I, I try to make it interesting as i can with what i have to work with and uh i have to get ready and here in just a few minutes get ready to go to work and uh <laughs> it sucks to have to work for a living don't it I, I can't stand that and i've had people ask me about this these earbuds you know why do you wear those earbuds in your videos because there's a built-in mic right here and with my phone if I don't use this, and you know the phone is kind of a, it's more than an arm length away, you can't you can't really hear what I'm saying, and it's you know it sounds really really quiet, you know. So I do this right here. Yes, I could get a wireless mic and pay all this money and plug in. I'm not doing all that. I don't you know that this works just fine. I'm not worried about having nice things. I, I don't have really nice things. I have things that I can get by with. You know that's just that's me. You know, uh, if it works, I'll use it. And as you can see, it was working and <laughs> and I'm using it. So <laughs> there you go. So thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. I hope the weather's nice where you're at. The sun is finally shining here, but it's cold. And as you saw on that weather map, you know, old man winter's is uh, blowing some stuff our way. And I really hope to God we don't get it, but it looks like we're going to. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I, I drive an 18-wheeler for a living. So uh, so if the bad weather comes, you know, and I deliver milk, you know, that's what I do for my job. I deliver milk. So what's the two main things people go for when bad weather comes? Bread and, you guessed it, milk. You know, I've never, I can understand the bread part, but the milk, I, I've never understood that. I've never, I just, you know. Are they going to make milk sandwiches or something? I don't know. <laughs> I never got that. I just, you know, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know. But uh, anyway, so I don't want it to snow. I don't want anything like that because when the bad weather gets here, people go nuts. And then you get people out there that cannot drive. And, uh, it, you know, but when things get iced up, nobody can drive on that. I don't care how good of a driver you are. You know, you just, it's not going to work. I about lost my pickup truck last year. I was... Uh, what literally one minute away from the house and there was a bridge right down the street there came to it and spun sideways trying to go you know it just it was like two in the morning i was coming home from work and the snow was starting to fall pretty good the closer i got here because we live right here at the foothills of the mountains and the closer i got home the worse it was getting and i spun out and there was nobody on the road of course i was the only one out there and uh I didn't think I was, I was like, this is great. I'm going to have to walk, you know, to get to the house. I'm not going to go to get my truck home. But luckily the truck spun to the side and I got up that hill sideways. I don't know how that worked, but it did. And, uh, I got home and I was like this man, <laughs> I, I got, I, I didn't even pull in the driveway because I knew I wouldn't make it because we have ditches on either side of your driveway, you know? So I didn't even try that because I knew it was going to slide. I mean, it was icing up bad. I just pulled it in the front yard, you know. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> anyway, enough about running my mouth. Okay. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it very much. Thank you for joining. Hope you have a great day. Have a blessed day. Be safe. God bless y'all. Until next time, this is Joe for the Joe Wentz Project. Peace out. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,